I said you are gods. How does Psalm 82 prove Jesus' deity? When some angry Judeans once wanted to stone Jesus to death, he asked them their reason. They replied, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming, because I said, I am the Son of God? Jesus was citing from Psalm 82 6 when he quoted, I said you are gods. Some interpreters have explained that the gods referenced in Psalm 82 are human beings, Israelite judges or rulers whom God has established to govern his people. In that case, by calling himself a son of God, Jesus was saying no more about himself than what God had said about those men in the psalm. So the Judeans should not be angry with him. However, they became even more angry and sought to kill Jesus. So how did Jesus and those Judeans understand Psalm 82 to mean something more than human judges and rulers? Let us take a close look at Psalm 82 and draw some tentative observations. The psalm begins with the voice of Asaph, God judges amongst the gods. God, Elohim singular, stands in the assembly of God, El. He judges in the midst of the gods, Elohim, plural. In the Hebrew Bible, neither El nor Elohim appears as a quality or identity of a living human being. Next, the voice of God speaks, interrogating the gods. How long will you judge unjustly? and lift up the face the wicked, and admonishing the gods. Judge on behalf of the helpless and the orphan, provide justice to the afflicted and the poor, rescue the helpless and the needy, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The voice of Asaph again. The gods have failed. They do not know or consider. They go about in the darkness. Nations suffer the consequence. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. And again the voice of God, saying, I appointed you as gods. I have said, You are gods, Elohim, and sons of the Most High, Elion, all of you. These powerful spirits had opportunity to obey and to live forever, but they have disobeyed and so must die. I now damn you like men. However, you will die like men, Adam, and you will fall like one of the princes. And finally the voice of Asaph, a prayer, rise and judge. Rise up, O God, judge the earth. And the prediction, you will possess the nations. Because you shall inherit all the nations, Goyim. We observe that Psalm 82 exalts the God of Israel, Elohim, over all national gods, promising that God himself will one day rule over all nations. Thus, by quoting from this psalm, whilst affirming his unity with God, Jesus was asserting his authority to rule over both Israel and the Gentile nations. Even if interpreters take the gods to mean Jewish national leaders, Jesus, by citing Psalm 82 whilst calling himself the Son of God, was asserting his own deity and authority over their authority. 
Thus Jesus so angered those Judean leaders that they wanted to kill him. National leaders in every country who seek to suppress Christianity and its morality have fallen under the authority of evil spirits whom God has condemned to an everlasting death. Jesus Christ will one day soon assert his own political authority over all the nations, meting out justice to all gods and to those who serve them. Repent of your own sins, confess Christ as your God and Savior, and endure ridicule until he comes.